Oh, great! Now we're screwed. Ah! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Action Toys Machine Robo series, Rod Drill! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Rod Drill, and on this side, Rod Drill, on the back, Rod Drill, on the side, Rod Drill, on the top, hey, look, it's Rod Drill, on the bottom, just warning, please don't eat anything in this box, and that's basically it for... The packaging. So moving right along here, we have Rod Drill, who came to be known as Gobot Screwhead to us American folk. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he has a little little drill tank here. We'll get in close so you can see the details. Uh, nice silver used on the drill itself. You got some, uh, it's more of an orange right there for the cockpit, outlined in silver. And you got some nice uh, silver plastic that is used on this toy as well, on these pieces, on these pieces. And a nice dark blue coloration. You got some gunmetal gray here for the treads on the top and the bottom. And they do have some, some detail molded in. And the back here. Right there. And the bottom, you can pretty much see how everything works. Yes, he does have visible head syndrome because the drill is his head, so it's kind of... Kind of unavoidable, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> His face is right there. <laughs> he does have little rolling wheels. They don't roll all that well. They roll kind of, sort of, maybe, but not too much. He really, he he slides a lot more than he rolls, but, you know, they're there. So, there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with Eagle Robo, Leader 1. You can see how they scale with each other, and you can see a uh, drill rod is way, way smaller than Eagle Robo. Right there. So, there you have that. Um, now, you do have an optional part for the alt mode. Um, as you see, uh, the, uh, the drill is his actual robot mode head, and it leaves the drill tank here with kind of a little short stumpy drill tip and if you do not like the short stumpy drill tip well guess what you can just pop this right off it's just on a ball joint and you can bring in this longer drill tip and this one does not have a face on it it's just a straight up drill tip and you can plug that on and voila and that does make it look a whole lot better and a lot more menacing so you can have that going on if you wish so there you have that unfortunately there isn't any storage for the optional part it's just a case of either have one or the other on and just leave the other one off to the side. But uh, there you have that. And just like Eagle Robo, uh, Drill Rod does come with the stand, which comes in uh, multiple parts here. You can just put these two pieces together, and then you can, what are we doing here? Tab this side under here. Tab this side under here. So you have that going on, and take these two sides and just line up those tabs, and just plug that in, and just plug the other side in, and then you take this portion here with the four tabs, four slots, boom, plug that in right there, and then you have your three ratchet joints right there, and you just plug that on, plug in another ratchet, Plug in the other arm here, and plug in the other ratchet. And then you can plug in the piece that actually connects to the robot, right up top. Right there. Everything plugs in nice and secure. Nice, sturdy ratchet joints. Which is very nice. You also have rotation at either joint. And you just take that, plug that in, right there. And there you have... One configuration of the base. Now, unfortunately, you can't actually connect uh, rod drill to the base in any way. You can't really have, like, a flying drill tank. <laughs> Why would you want to? I mean, you know, actually be pretty cool when you think about it. <laughs> just have a big drill tank just soaring through the sky. Maybe you balance it some way. Eh, eh, maybe you can. Wait a second. Wait a second. I might be onto something here. 
Because there is, you know, there is an opening here. It's not going to actually connect, but maybe you can just kind of balance it in there. Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying things here. We're experimenting. We're experimenting live on camera. Maybe not. Yep, I don't think so. Yep, that's it. Yep. Yep. Nope, the balancing game is not strong with this one. Nope, it's just not. Nope, no, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen, but hey, you know, you can use this like a ramp or something to roll right off of it. I don't know, but again, it's one of the many configurations uh, that you can do with uh, with these bases. So anyway, we'll put that off to the side. And let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing you want to do is you want to come to the front here. You want to raise these bits, which will be the robot mode feet. Bring that up. Take that panel and swing that in like that. Bring that up, swing it in. Then come back here and untab these pieces. And you want to take these bits, bring them down. You want to bring them out to the side and you want to bring them out at an angle like that. You want to make sure it looks like that. And then you can split the legs. And the side of the legs here, there's a post that plugs into the side of the fist there. So you make sure that that is unpegged. And then you can take the legs and swing them down. Like that. Like that. And just bring those feet the rest of the way up. And then you take this section right here and you rotate it on that ball joint. And bring it up like that. And then you just bring this panel down, and this tab will just go into that notch right there. So just take it, push that in. There you go. You can see that bit makes the heel spur. And there you got a leg all done. Second verse, same as the first. Just take that, rotate it around, bring it up, bring that down, tab that in right there. And there you go. And then the arms, you just bring them out to the side, and then you rotate the forearm. At the ball joint there, so the elbows are oriented properly. Rotate that around, and now he he has no face. He needs a face. Oh dear God, he needs a face. Let's just pop that off. <laughs> That's just a little disturbing. Let's pop on his proper head there, and there you go. There you have rod drill or screw head in his robots mode and he does look very cool very nicely done uh, very nice little figure getting close here on the face sculpt not much to it just red visor silver mouth plate pretty much all there is to it right there and you got some bits of red on the shoulders you got some black there on the abdomen very cool he has like these uh like you know blade weapon slash you know, brass knuckle things on his arms. <laughs> and if you don't like these, they do just come right off. You say just tab into the uh, into the forearm and just peg in to the fist. And if you don't like them, you can leave them off. It doesn't affect anything for transformation, so this is totally optional. Leave them on, leave them off. Doesn't matter. Totally up to you. It's your toy. Display it however you wish. So, but yeah. Pretty, pretty cool figure. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You can get a little bit wiggly-waggly movement. Not too much, just due to the uh, the shape of his head. But, you know, you get a little wiggle-waggle. Uh, the arms, uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint. So you get some good inward and outward movement there. Outward movement there. Um, you can also use the transformation joint to get him to, you know, bring his arm across his chest. So that works very nicely. Um... Double jointed elbows, you have a joint here and a ball joint here. So you can get pretty good curl there on the elbows as well as rotation. Uh, nothing at the wrist. Um, the waist is on a ball joint. So you can actually get a pretty good ab crunch going on there if you want. You can get him kind of arching his back backward a little bit. Some side to side. Um, this whole Crotch panel here is one piece, and as you can see, it's on a hinge, so it can move forward and back. Um, unfortunately, this does hinder the leg movement. It can only move, leg can only move that far forward, unfortunately. All the way back, though. Outward movement, pretty good. Thigh swivel. Uh, you do actually have a double-jointed knee. And depending on what joint you use, you can get some good, 
good bend there at the knee. If you use both of those joints in tandem, if you just want to use one, you'll pretty much just get 90 degrees. But if you use them both together, you can get a nice deep knee bend there. And the feet are on the ball joint. You can move them up a little bit, move them down all the way, get some tiltage. Either way, as well as the heels are on ball joints, you can adjust those as well to get them into some good flat-footed stances. So, there you have that. Now, for comparison, here he is with Eagle Robo, and you can see he is way shorter than Leader One there. So, there you have that. Now, of course, the base you can reconfigure, and again, I'm just going by the configurations that they show you in the instructions. You can take all this apart. And actually, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we do this, before we do this, I need to actually show you how this connects. Because it says connect in robot mode. Day! And again, my one gripe is that this little bit right there doesn't really tab in all that securely. It pops out really easily. But how this works is... Well, I need to pop it out again anyway. <sighs> but how this works is this just tabs in right in his butt. <laughs> Actually, doesn't tab into his butt. It just kind of like, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of cradles his butt. <laughs> That's what it's doing. It's just kind of, it's just kind of... It's, this is getting awkward. Just, 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 just attach that there. There you go. <laughs> and you just plug that in. And there you go. And you can't see anything but his feet. Let me raise this up a bit. You can see what's going on here. There you go. You can get him into some good, you know, fighting action poses or something. Get him more like Kia. Do something all all like I don't know. There you go. It's the best I can do on short notice. <laughs> like, but it works, and the the ratchets are nice and strong. There is die cast in them, so he does have a little bit of heft, and these ratchet joints, perfectly fine, do the job, hold him up, nice and sturdy, like so. There you go. So now I can go on to the other configuration here of the base. So I'm we'll just come back to ground floor here. So now we'll take all this apart. There we go, there we go, there we go. And just plug that in there. Plug that in there. That's getting in the way. Get, 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 turn. Turn. There you go. I just leave that plugged in there because pretty much the only place to store it. Plug that in there. And just remove these, remove these, remove these. And remove these. Boop. And then you basically just want to start stacking them. So you just tab that there, tab that there. And you use these as a connector piece to hold those in place. And then these just tab behind these other pieces. And then you just use that connector piece again. Hold that in place. Plug that back in where it was. And there you have that little display base right there you can stand them up on. And again, there, there are many configurations that you can come up with, with uh, for this. I'm just showing you the ones that they show in the instructions. But I have seen some crazy combinations with multiple bases. And yeah, you can, you can go nuts with this. You can totally uh, go nuts with this. And uh, the bases are, you know, they can connect. You have just a tab and a slot here on either one. So you can just take them and just hook them together. So you can just hook together your bases like that if you want. If you just want to be, you know, simple and basic about it, you can have that going on. Just chain them together that way. Or you can just come up with any kind of crazy combinations. Totally up to you. The only limit is your imagination. That and how many actual pieces of this you have. But <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but there you have a rod drill. A very nice figure. Um... My only real complaint about this figure is just how this crotch piece works and how it limits his leg movement. So it does kind of 
limit his posability a little bit in the legs. But um, other than that, very nice figure. I do quite like it. Very cool. Loving the GoBot love. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So, there you go. If you would like a rod driller or any other machine robot toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my machine robo slash GoBots playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it. So, don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the action toys machine robo series rod drill and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud boom in your face no oh, hello no oh, no oh, hi there what are you doing around these pots no oh, i'm just uh just waiting for my teammates to show up Oh, okay. Cool. The name's Starscream. Screwhead. Screwhead. Screw... Oh, oh, oh I, I get it. I get it now. Okay, that, that, that makes sense. That, that, that name totally makes sense. So I'm assuming you transform into a, uh, a space vehicle of some kind? Um, no, no, I turn into a jet. Well then, why do you have the word star in your name if you don't transform into a space vehicle anyway? Yeah, let's let's not question it, otherwise it'll just all fall apart. So I guess wearing a hat is pretty much out of the question for you. Uh, yeah, 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 I, I... Wearing a hat's not an option at all, I just... Right through them, it just... It never works. Yeah, that... That must suck. Especially in the wintertime. Yeah, but, you know, I find other ways to keep warm. Well, that's good, that's good. I mean, is it really... Is, is it really that sharp? Yeah. No, okay. Can I touch it? No. Okay.